Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-June general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And hope that you all are doing well. So, Pisces, did you guys miss this mug? Did you guys miss this little chocolatey mug? I've not been on camera for a while because let me tell y'all something. I've been busy, but again, like I've been saying in all of the previous readings, it's been a positive busy. But um, I've been so busy that this sitting here and getting ready to get on camera and things like that, I've been walking around looking like old throwback Don King the hell over my head and things like that. So <laughs> I would not do y'all no disservice and be all on the camera like that, even though I know y'all love me anyway, but... Just kind of a thing. Now, I think that's my Virgo rising that won't allow it, okay? But I did miss, you know, having this face-to-face -face with you guys. So, I'm so glad I'm back to it. And also, like I said, I miss you guys so much. And I hope that you guys have been well. So, let's jump into your energy reading for today. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was, um, I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner. I didn't, I, you know how you hear songs. And I heard that song growing up. That's a That's an older song. And, but I never knew the artist who sang it. So I had to look it up. I put the lyrics, what I heard. And then, you know, I found out that that was the band that sang the song. Now, you guys know that's a band, so there's a lot of members in it. But I got three, the Zodiac signs of three of the artists who were in the band. And one was a Taurus, one was a Cancer, and one was a Libra. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Cancer, or Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individual. Also, you could have those placements as well. Now, the message that I heard with this is love is patient, love is kind, and also... If you have patience, you may have found your diamond in the rough. For a lot of you all, this could be you or this could be someone that you're dating or connecting with right now. You could be connecting with someone who absolutely has had some monstrous past relationships. They were dealing with some evil, manipulative, sinister, calculating people. And so they don't know how to love because they have been manipulated for the bulk of their, you know, intimate and romantic relationships. And it's like, but they have a heart of gold. They're just very jaded. And that's that's been a theme for a lot of these, like almost every reading that I've done today. A lot of people are dealing with jaded individuals because of what they have dealt with in the past. But it, it's, it's like at this person's essence, at this person's core, they are an amazing person. Or this could be you. You know, if you know that you have been through some things with manipulative, toxic, chaotic relationships, you have a heart of gold. And I will tell y'all, y'all know, okay, you guys hear me talk about you guys a lot. I really like Pisces. I love Pisces. I'm a Gemini son, and I know a lot of people say, like, water and air does not connect well, but I absolutely love Piscean energy. I don't know. Maybe because you guys are free spirits, you're open-minded, you know, very intuitive, and I'm very intuitive, so I, I connect. It's like immediately, I immediately connect with you guys' energy, so I love, I don't know, I love Pisces. I do. So, and I know you guys always have hearts of gold. You know, one thing that they say about you guys that you see things through rose-colored glasses, but it's like, that could be true, but it's also you guys see stuff like that because you always want to see the best in people before the worst. You get what I'm saying? Like, most people come into it thinking negatively. You guys go into the situation like, okay, I'm going to give this person a chance. Okay, I'm going to see this person for who they are. Unless you get burnt so bad that you see life differently. But keep in mind, you can't really, you can't burn water. You get what I'm saying? So you guys like kind of heal from things and purge from past things, but some things do stick right on an emotional level because you guys have water. But I, I definitely very strongly feel like if this is you, you definitely have a heart of gold. And I feel like somebody is going to value that, that gold that you have. Gold has value to it, right? If you have a heart of gold, gold has value. And you're going to come into contact with somebody who values you vice versa okay so let's see what we get for you guys today currently at the bottom of the deck you have the seven of cups illusion confusion feeling scattered emotionally and also having options so this again when it comes to matters of the heart somebody is like confused about what love is because they've been played in the past somebody's been playing in their face man someone could be born in the year of the dragon someone has a, a, a air sign rising a gemini libra aquarius rising sign i'm getting that also okay so let's go ahead and go through the deck until you, some of you guys are getting ready. To, what you don't know is that this is your divine counterpart here. Soon to my very first shuffle, you got the emperor. For every emperor, there's an empress, vice versa, same sex. However, it applies and resonates for you. Aries energy here. Did I say Aries for one of them? No, I said Taurus, Cancer, and Libra. But it doesn't matter. Somebody there could definitely be an Aries here. Someone who has strong Aries placements. 
or has a very fiery disposition. Yeah, because you just got a lot of fire. You just had the two of wands, three of wands. Then I just seen the um, two of cups on that last shuffle. Soulmates. Wow, back to this again. Okay, so in the past, these people are behind him. In the past, you had people who really did a number on you. It was like going to war in a relationship. And this new person coming in is completely different. Look at what's right here that's showing itself. Two of Cups. Okay, I'm going to say this again. Um, somebody can be born in the year of the horse. Okay. You guys got new love coming in. If you are dealing with someone right now, you can just sense that this is your person. I feel like it is. I feel like this is going to be someone who's going to make you very happy. Some of you all could be um, March Pisces with the Three of Cups because you are Cups. We're going to get your Major Arcana, the Moon. And I almost said the Sun, so some of you guys can be dealing with a Leo. We're going to get your Major Arcana, the Moon, and then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Four Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Do he not, did this person not want to go away? This person is here. There's 78 cards here. You guys are watching all the shuffling I'm doing and he keeps popping up. Let me tell you something. This new person, you may not want to give up on this person. Love is patient. Love is kind. If you have patience, here's your diamond in the rough. Okay? You guys, if you're single, you got somebody coming in. Um, For some of you all, you can meet this person in the earth sign season. The next earth sign season is Virgo season. Virgo, Virgo season is August, September. If you are single. If you're dating someone right now, we're going to see what we get with these character traits because this could tell you whether or not this is the person that you're dealing with. But this this did not want to go anywhere. And that's definite. Major Arcana kind of is definite, okay? So again, we want to get the moon, the card that comes before. Okay, this is going to happen soon because I didn't even get that far before we got your card, Okay. Let's get to it. So your first card is the Five of Pentacles, Lack, Loss, Abandonment, being left out in the cold. Right behind that, you have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. And I did say one of the members in that group is a Cancer, so you could be the only Cancer. And you even have the Crab right here in your card. So some of you guys, look, either somebody could be coming to the surface, a new love interest could be coming to the surface in Cancer season, which is starts June 22nd, and it ends in July. So this month, some of you guys can meet someone. Oh, wow, definitely. Because right behind that, you have the Six of Pentacles, 6 June. So some of you guys can be meeting someone in June during cancer season. Some of you, okay. And then your candle just went out. Did y'all see that? So just when you think that you want to give up on love, when you want to give up and give out, and you, you're done with love, mm -mm, love comes galloping into your life. For some of you guys, you definitely have either a June Cancer, like the actual person is a June Cancer, or you're going to meet somebody in Cancer season. Um, also, with that fire going out, this is lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. If you felt like you were left out, like the universe was not bringing anything into your life, again, the chariot is bringing something into your life or someone. Let's get your clarifiers. Bottom of the deck, look at that. King of Cups. Wow, something's going to happen in Cancer season for some of you guys or involving a Cancer person. Yeah, and if you notice right behind him, there's a ship, a relationship. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I want to know what love is, and I want you to show me. They want, they're open to you. They're very vulnerable to you, or they will be if you if you haven't met this person yet. Uh huh. It's part of the deck. I like it. So you again, this second time you get the five of swords. Remember before you had the um five of swords, and there was the horse in the picture. I feel like and you got so you got five five five. You had the five of swords in this deck, and then you got the five of pentacles. So five five five. Some of you guys can be seeing angel number five five. I'm also going to suggest that you look up angel number five five five. Read the message. Leave in the comment section below how the message resonates for you. You guys know I always check the messages. I always respond. Um, but I'm gonna tell you right now, initially and just off the bat, fives are about change. This situation is changing. Going from being left out in the cold and feeling lacking love to like full steam ahead love coming towards you I, i'm hearing it again i want to know what love is and i want you to show me because as i hear i want to know what love is i want you and i'm here you to show me like they're talking about you this person is open to you this person wants to build with you or will want to build with you six or nothing six Six of Wands, success, attainment, achievement, and victory. There's somebody that you can have success with. It definitely could be a fire sign or they could have strong fire in their chart. 
eight of swords reverse coming out of your head, coming out of mental imprisonment. Yeah, you're not meant to be alone and you won't be. And you're not meant to stay stuck over what happened in the past because that's the past. You got to leave the past behind and go towards the future. She's always going to go towards the future. The chariot ain't never going to go in reverse at all. Ain't nothing in your past but ancestors. And they're always going to come to the present and be with you in present time. So mm -mm, you're not dealing with that because it's going to keep you from moving forward. You have the world card travel distance for moving, but you got it in reverse. Okay. If you keep staying in the past, then it's going to stop you from moving forward. You got Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy here with the world card. And also with the world card in reverse, this could be someone thinking about the past a lot, focusing on the past. Leave it as it is. It, it has no place in your future. None whatsoever. Again, like I said, unless you're dealing with ancestors. Some of you guys, your ancestors are actually... Um, tapping in to help you move your life forward also i'm getting this wheel hmm. that's going to clarify for the five of pentacles clarify for the five of pentacles for pisces sun moon rising and venus individuals and i did say taurus also i said taurus cancer you have both here it could be a maid taurus that someone's dealing with or a cancerian but i feel like the cancer energy is like cancer season yeah, three of swords in reverse. Lead in heartbreak in the past. So right, that's like still being a heartbreak in reverse. Mm -mm. Healing from that. That's going to clarify for the five of pentacles. Okay, you had a card flip up. That is the two of swords in reverse. And in the back of the deck, the ace of wands in reverse. Now, the two of swords, this is like not wanting to choose, not being able to decipher what it is you want to do, not wanting to take action. She's blindfolded, but this is by choice, okay? She can put them swords down and take that blindfold off. In reverse, this is like, okay, I, I, I give up on being guarded because she's guarded right here. I give up on being guarded. I give up on fighting. And I give up on focusing on past hurts, past defeats because it's like feeling defeated. That's fine. You don't have to get that energy. Because also, whenever I see these swords, it makes me think about antennas. Antennas, like, you know... It helps you focus in. It, it, make, it makes the picture clear. If you think about back in the days with your TV had the antenna, it made the picture come in clear. And with this in reverse, someone didn't see love for what it truly was because they were always dealing with lack in relationships. Always begging someone or always asking someone to do right. You see how she has a hand out like, why can't you just do right? And this person's giving her bullshit, like feeding her lies or some type of BS um, narcissist narrative. Mm -mm, past energy gallop away ride away with the quickness with that someone also has either a gold or a silver car gold bronze or silver car a metallic color car sun card i love it they're not saying in the beginning i want to say the sun did i say that I, I feel like i did if i didn't i want to say the sun the sun is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot whenever the sun comes up a brand new day starts okay now, here's the thing. You're the moon, and then you have the sun. This is your divine counterpart, masculine, feminine. And that doesn't have to mean gender. This is just your equal, okay? Equally yoking energy. Again, could be dealing with a Leo. But more than anything, this is like, this person is open. You see how this baby is open, how the sun is open? This person is open to you coming into their life, bringing happiness and joy. That's what the sun talks about, healing. Something about your connection with this person is healing, either for them or you or both of you. Both of you is what I'm getting. I was going to clarify for the chariot, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Look how it landed on my chest. Okay, so somebody got a lot on their chest outside of me and my double Ds, right? But somebody got something very heavy on their chest. Like, they, they've been holding, yeah, they've been holding things to their chest about how life has not worked for them. The Eight of Pentacles is the actual nine to five, but also putting in the work. In reverse, they feel like things have not worked for them in the past. But again, the past is meant to be the past. Leave the past in the past. Don't take that in your future. Because see, in reverse, he's, he's facing her. It's not coming this way. It's coming this way. You can't take that in your future. Some of you guys is definitely an earth sign because I'm looking at the, the card. Okay, yep. But see, look, as I'm stopped, as I'm going through the cards here, you got the six of pentacles. Then you got the king of pentacles. Let's see what's right there. Okay, you got a lot of pentacle energy here. Leading up to these energies, bottom of the deck, ace of wands, reverse. You could have been dealing with people who didn't want anything long-term, just something sexual, just something physical. You see how the hand now down is like thumbs down, like you're not dealing with that anymore. You're not moving forward with that. Wands is forward movement action. You're not moving forward with that anymore. 
it won't work for you anymore. That's just not part of, of your narrative. Leaving the past behind, moving forward. Also, some of you guys could be, and I know this is a love ring, but some of you guys could be feeling like financially you're not in the best place. Um, and then also with your work life, it may not be desirable right now either. That's going to change also. That's for a movement. Because even though this is your clarifier, anything that comes with a major arcana, the major arcana trumps it. So if things were stagnant and not moving forward with work, that's getting ready to shift. And also as far as work life, especially if there was... um someone who you were dealing with that you ended things in a in an earth sign season specifically taurus because taurus is april may five is may if you ended something with someone in taurus season or you ended something with a taurus virgo or capricorn you're moving away from that it wasn't meant to work and it wasn't meant to work because it was meant for you to meet somebody new and that's just it and that's just all and you have like i said a diamond and rough there's a diamond in the rough because look, they look like they're in a rough position here. But if you have patience, there could be some very positive forward movement in a situation with a love interest. Again, if you are completely single, a lot of you guys are going to be meeting somebody in, in cancer season. Also getting Leo with that sun card. Okay? So Pisces, someone rise and envy this individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you can see the like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.